Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I basically post lifestyle content, faith-based content, and get ready with me videos just like this one. And in today's little get ready with me, we're going to be talking quite a lot. So if that's not what you're into, then I encourage you to just click out now. Yeah. This is the makeup look we're going for today. It's inspired by K-dramas and Korean films. But yeah, if you see something going on here, it's just a rash we're trying to get rid of. And this is what I'm using currently to try to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail with every single product that I'm using on today's Get Ready With Me. I will try my best to leave everything in the description. I did my skincare prior to starting my makeup. I'm wearing my retainers. Yeah, I just hope that you enjoy. And if you enjoy me and my presence and this get ready with me, I encourage you to subscribe. Goodbye. As you can tell, there's a lot of noise going on. Yeah. All right, guys. I already did my skincare. I'm gonna go in with some foundation. This foundation, I got a match, skin color match on Il Maquillage. And I thought it was really light for my skin color. But for some reason, well, for this look that we're going for today, I think that's exactly what we are going for. As I mentioned in my intro, I'm not gonna be going into detail with every single product. And I mentioned on my last video that I had a rash going on here. <sighs> We're going on two weeks of this rash and it's just now getting a little bit better because I've been using Vitacilina. It's like an anti first aid antibiotic. And that's what I'm using for it. And I just started two days ago don't want to irritate it so i'm not gonna go all the way down it looks so bad as you can tell i only used a very thin layer of foundation i love watching k dramas the point is that i am watching a series right now i just love how they do their makeup it's like very simple it's very cute and simple if if that makes any sense <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer because as you can see, my under eyes are very dark and prominent. I'm just going in where I need a little more coverage. Here we go. I want to talk to you guys about a dream I had a couple weeks ago, if not last week. I think it might have been last week. So in this dream, I guess I was like in my house, which my house is not like this, but in the dream my house had multiple fish tanks. Each wall was a fish tank, so you can see through the walls in other words, but obviously there was like fish inside and stuff. And I was all talking cute to one of my fishes. Oh, you're hungry, this and that. And then I noticed that one of my really expensive fishes flew out of the fish tank and was on the floor. It was dying and it needed help. So I rushed and tried to help it. And in the process of me trying to help it, two or three cobra snakes come at me and they won't let me get the fish. And it keeps trying to attack me. And in one of those, it literally put its fangs all the way in my hand. And that's when I woke up from my dream. It seems like a very simple dream. And a lot of times we just dismiss our dreams, but it is actually biblical that God speaks to us us through dreams i mean not just dreams but dreams are one of the ways that he communicates with us i have a book on dream interpretation i think the author's name is kathy gear i always use it as a reference and a source to translate my dreams and so according to her fish symbolize the souls of men snakes symbolize deception lies satan unforgiveness and bitterness okay so my conclusion and my final translation of this dream was as is the fish falling out symbolizes men falling out of relationship with god but are not listening to god's voice and instruction see a fish will dream about leaving his fish bowl but cannot survive out of the environment he was created for he fails to see that the bowl of water is what is actually protecting him from death in the same way so does god's word and commandments do for us i tried to save the fish but quickly the enemy stepped in and attacked with all 
all the mentioned below. The enemy is attacking the souls of men with deception, lies, unforgiveness, and bitterness. Not only attacking, he's literally stealing men's souls in this way. We need to trust God and trust that he sees what we see when we look at a fish in a fishbowl. It's easy for us to feel like God just doesn't want us to have any fun. In reality, God sees what we don't. All of these rules and commandments are given to us to protect us. Just as that fish wanting freedom and wanting to escape the confinements of his fishbowl, we want to also search for freedom outside of the rules and the, the commandments and the way that God wants us to live our life. However, we can't survive out of that just like a fish can survive out of the fishbowl or out of water, you know what I mean? And we were created to be in a relationship with God and we want to live our own life in freedom, but it ultimately leads us to death. And God just wants to protect us and wants us to spend the rest of eternity with him. And he gives us everything. However, we always want and search for what we don't have. It's time to share a Bible verse that God led me to. And this is in Jeremiah 11, verse seven. For I solemnly warned your fathers in the day that I brought them from the land of Egypt. Even to this day, warning, persistently saying, listen to my voice. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but walked each one in stubbornness of his evil heart. But anyways, it is really important to listen to God's voice. I'm gonna add a little bit of my lighter concealer here. And then there was silence. I'm gonna add this color. It's called sand. And then I'm gonna do maybe some this color sand and dusty rose. And the makeup looks usually have like a very rosy eye. This one's starting to look a little orangey though. Oops, we'll figure that out. I'm gonna go in with another palette. This one looks a little more pink. Okay, it looks very orange on camera. Let's just hope that it comes out pretty good. Some of the pinkish mixture underneath. Thicker towards the end of the eye and then very thin towards the inner. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then do some on top. Once the lashes are curled, I'm gonna go ahead and add my mascara, my brown eyeliner. It's a very dark brown, it's almost black. I'm gonna add some freckles. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. on a telephone you guys i'm just adding this cream color here it's like a shiny cream color after i applied the glitter i think this is by kat von d actually pretty cool i'm also gonna add some of this cream color as a highlight right there and then also down the ridge of my nose as thin as possible y'all i forgot to add a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes just to brush them outward I'm gonna set my face with my pink pore pack and a cute little puffy. And just getting the T zone around the mouth. Now you're getting the nose. And that's it. I'm gonna do this ink velvet number 24 in the color nude. And blending it in on top of that i'm gonna add some clear lip gloss called butter gloss by nyx and i'm gonna add it to my finger that is it for the makeup look all right you guys this is the final look i hope that you enjoyed this little get ready with me i hope that you have an amazing evening day night whatever it is wherever you are in the world i love you guys and i hope that if you enjoy my content if you like this video and you like me i hope that you subscribe and stick around i'll see you guys on the next one